Welcome to the Sage Business Cloud Accounting Demo. In this video, you will learn how to create, copy, reverse, and delete general journal entries in Sage Accounting. Journal entries offer a convenient way to record adjustments in the general ledger. For example, a journal entry can be used to record accruals, the depreciation of a fixed asset, or to write off a bad debt. You can also use journal entries to transfer values from one ledger account to another. Select the Adjustments tab and Journals. A list of recently posted journal entries appear. Click New Journal. Enter a reference, which can be a source document number or a short description. Confirm the date and enter description if desired. Next, select the first ledger account you want to use. In the details, you may enter a comment at the line level, enter an amount on the debit side, or on the credit side as appropriate. Select a second ledger account, again type some details if needed, and enter an amount on the debit side, or on the credit side. In this example, we're recording an entry for depreciation of a fixed asset. Each journal entry must have at least two accounts. You can have as many accounts as needed. It is important to keep in mind that the total debit value and the total credit value must be equal. It's not possible to save an unbalanced journal entry. If you would like to attach a supporting document to the transaction, click the Attachment button. Once you are ready, you may click Save and New to save the entry and immediately create a new one, or simply click Save. The journal entry is displayed. From here, click Edit if you would like to modify the transaction. The attachment option allows you to update the attachment file or add a new one. Copy is a very convenient option if you would like to create a similar transaction. For example, if this transaction needs to be recorded on a monthly basis, it's easier to copy it rather than recreating it from scratch. Let's click Copy. At this point, we can make some changes. In this case, we update the date and description. If needed, we can update other fields, such as accounts and amounts. Let's click Save. The same options populate for the newly created entry. The Print option generates a PDF document, which can be saved or printed for your records. Finally, the option to reverse or delete a transaction can be used to cancel the transaction. Clicking Delete will remove the journal entry permanently. In this case, we will not use this option. Please note that the options to edit or delete a transaction are only available for transactions that have not been reconciled. The reverse option allows you to create a reversal entry that cancels out the original transaction. Debits from the original transaction become credits and credits become debits. This option can be convenient to reverse accruals from previous periods. In this case, we do not wish to reverse the entry and we click cancel. In cases where we create a journal entry with federal or provincial tax amounts, we'll receive a note indicating that they can be included on our tax returns. To use this feature, check the box in the Include on Tax Return column, and the tax returns will be automatically adjusted. Congratulations! You now know how to create, copy, reverse, and delete general journal entries in Sage Business Cloud Accounting.